present a new method for multi-agent path planning through tightly constrained environments. Our method solves the global path planning problem through complex environments and also resolves all local collisions between agents in the scene while maintaining smooth trajectories. We have identified several requirements of a good path planner. Agents come in various sizes and exhibit different characteristics. Therefore, interactions between agents are not symmetric. A good simulator must handle these asymmetries. Next, environments can often be extremely constrained. A good simulator must be able to handle navigation through extremely constrained spaces. Third, local interactions must be smooth. In real life, people have the capacity to anticipate motion resulting in mostly smooth trajectories. A simulator should preserve that feature. And finally, utilities, constraints, and parameters should be easily controllable. Controlling trajectories through cost, the agent's function weights, the constraint values, and agent characteristics should be simple. Previous methods such as reciprocal velocity-based simulators, implicit crowds, and the new time-to-collision method, NHTTC, all lack one or more of these features. In our method, each agent has a trajectory through space, denoted by the x-y axis, mapping to some scalar utility through a cost function. If our cost function minimizes distance traveled, then a straight line would be the optimal trajectory for this agent. We observe that agents move through both space and time, denoted by the t-axis. So by extending trajectories into the third dimension, we get 3D space-time trajectories. For any moment in time, the projection of trajectory onto the xy plane marks the location of the agent. For any two agents, as long as their 3D trajectories don't overlap within their radii of comfort, they will not be in the same place at the same time, thus avoiding local collisions. We can think of the trajectories and radii of comfort as 3D space-time rods. Resolving collisions on these rods resolves collisions in space-time for the scene. Our 3D space-time curves are discretized into nodes and edges. Constraints specify the start position, start time, and the end position for the agent. They also specify that agents cannot move backwards in time, so trajectories that are continually rising upwards in the t direction. Lastly, agents must reach the end position by t max, the max time allowed for the scene. A key difference between us and other space-time optimization methods is that for us, over the trajectory, both position and time is a variable. We formulate our algorithm as a minimization of the following costs. Kinetic cost, which tries to minimize the agent's kinetic energy over the trajectory, Acceleration cost, which minimizes the trajectory's curvature. Preferred end time, which incentivizes the agent to end by a specified time. Collision cost, which keeps the space-time curves for each pair of agents further apart than the agent's radii of comfort. Grouping cost, which incentivizes friends to stick together or meet up for far apart agents. Map cost, which keeps the agent's trajectory away from the boundaries of the highly constrained environments. And lastly, a regularizer cost, which regularizes the delta t over each discrete trajectory. This regularizer helps prevent instantaneous motions with small delta t's over the curve. We drop in the constraints mentioned previously lumped together below. A collision between two agents occurs when trajectories overlap within each agent's collision radius. Our collision cost uses a differentiable log barrier penalty function with a differentiable log sum x smooth minimum distance to ensure that agents stay far enough apart from each other. More details about our smooth distance metric can be found in the paper. Using an interior point solver requires us to actually find feasible initial paths. We use a modified dextrous algorithm where we subdivide time into layers and set initial trajectories through space and time for each agent. We do this for all agents in the scene sequentially. We keep initial agent paths feasible by staying far enough apart from the red environment boundary and the trajectories of other agents. More details about this pre-processing step are in our paper. 
Our method is built to solve a set of problems overlooked by previous methods, namely asymmetric interactions, tight constraints, and symmetric agent placements. We are able to highlight the capabilities of our method on this three-agent scene. and this eight agency. Our agents smoothly reach the endpoints while locally avoiding collisions. Previous methods either fail due to the perfectly symmetric nature of the problem or follow on intuitive paths. Our approach is unique because we can handle asymmetries in scenes that are size-based, stubbornness or mass-based, size and mass-based, and grouping between friends. We can handle flexible arrival times, We can handle highly constrained interactions where previous methods would certainly fail. We handle highly complex and constrained environments. Our method can control agents with precision. The following graphs show the near linear scaling as we increase the numbers of trajectory nodes, the number of agents, and increase the size of the environment. We achieve this result by incorporating a 3D tree for broad phase collision detection. More discussion regarding our timing is in our paper, but as shown, our method can handle larger numbers of agents with precise collision resolved trajectories. Thank you.